don't care about that. But when you say that oh, I'm an MC, MC right. and, you, a film, and and a and yes, and when he put you in that in that top five that are alive category, yeah. and you not writing your own shit, my nigga, how can you look in the mirror? Right. right. Nah, yeah. I, 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 that fuck that. So, uh, the next question we're going to have is directed at Burkell. Uh, this is what I want to know from you, brother. Uh, but I'm not even going to go to the notes, just based on this conversation um, and where this is going. What I want to know from you is this. Do you, do you feel or is there a way uh, to train people to get used to uh, studying more because you know we taught in school all our studying you hate studying so with any business or any venture that you get into there's information regarding that field and I feel like you should study it so is there a way as an educator you can share with us uh, you know how to get people excited about learning how how would somebody train themselves or get in the, the, the frame of mind to start wanting to study and, and, you know, maybe not to say follow your exact path, but take the role to say, okay, yo, information, because, you know, I know we, we share this, like, going out the information is voracious. There's something that we have to do. We can't watch television. We can't listen to the radio. We have to be knowledge intake and filtering. So what would you suggest or what are some of the things that you would do um, to get somebody orientated from this being entertained mindset? to somebody that, uh, you know, to, to learning, to, to absorbing information? It's, um, I would say to demonstrate the benefits of mm -hmm. doing such. You know, when we're young, you know, as young men, and we watch these athletes compete, you know, we're looking, we're not looking at the hard work that they did, you know, to get there. We're looking at, yo, helicopters, fly, B. <laughs> <laughs> Word. They got clothes in like red. So like, if we want people to study, we need to study ourselves and then, you know, show and prove the benefits. Like, you know, when I was younger in the Bronx, it's just an example, you know, when I was like 17 in the Bronx, you know, I had to study myself in order to really, you know, make it. Like the brother said, yo, I learned that the Bronx man, like, yo, like, Yo, if you're going to be an MC, like if you're going to be a master of ceremonies, before you master any ceremony outside of yourself, you got to master yourself, your own ceremony, your own rite, your own ritual. So, you know, I would come outside and I would like, I would just study how people are dressed. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, there's something different about me and like everybody around me. And like, you know, it's like nobody told me how to dress. It was just like common sense. Green go with brown. Red go with black. Blue goes with white, but I don't really like blue, so I'm not wearing white today. <laughs> I, you know, and then when I come out, you know, as I grow into, the, you know, as I grow into different colors, different vibrations, I start to learn, I start to study the science behind colors, what colors mean, how they resonate with themselves, with each other in different days and different times, you know, you might be like, you know, somebody might ask me, hey, man, you know, why are you wearing that today? Because it looks good. I'm not going to tell you that the reason I'm wearing this is because it's going to raise my communication abilities to the point where I can communicate more effectively to you because I may want to persuade you into something and you may raise your defenses if you know that I'm having a persuasive conversation with you. So I just want to get the hook next. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Now, Give it up. When the young brother's like, yo, B, I'm... I want to dress like that because, you know, he might want to say, hey, you know what, I want to dress like that because when I walk into this building and I want to get this deal, I want to present myself in a certain way, in a certain manner, and I don't just want to be there at the whim of somebody's opinion. I want to be able to manipulate and control my circumstance. I want to be able to have full range or master my ceremony. And so if you're going to master your own ceremony, you got to write your own stuff. Going back to, you know, Rachel Dozer right here. Yeah, go for it. She was, you know, saying that she was black because she is able to reap some type of benefit from that. She can benefit from the culture saying, hey, you know, I ain't black. It's like, listen, all right, what's your nationality? Right. Who's black is in a nationality, so now you're going to have to go into, you know, reality. You know, real stuff. Like, where people come from, you know, countries, constitutions, laws, things of that nature. Right. And so, you know, when we 
when we when we see that the benefit is in not having knowledge or when the benefit is in acting as if we're in the same boat as those of us who lack knowledge. Well, you know, they don't know what black means. I can't you know, slide with that. And they read the benefits, then we see that the lack of knowledge also seems to be beneficial. People don't want to study because the lack of knowledge is beneficial to them, and so it appears to be. Right. When we see and we start to demonstrate that studying, that acquiring knowledge, that applying it righteously, that having an understanding, comprehending the actual concept of what it is that we're studying, and it says this is how you secure luxury, money, good homes, friendships, and all walks of life, you won't have to talk children mm -hmm. into going to school. You have to talk me into going to school. I know what I want. I'm getting right. A's in math class. I know what I want. Because right. guess what? When I get it, when I, because my mother used to tell me, my grandmother used to tell me, yo, you know what? Somebody going to try to give you something, they're going to they make you sign something, make sure you read it. So I made sure to become proficient in reading. Been a few contracts I've seen. I was like, oh, that's cute. Rewrote them. Signed them. Without prejudice. Without prejudice. Yeah, that's right. And reserve my rights on it. Send it back. Because they ain't read their own contract. Now, you son, that's messed up. I know. Please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, the next question I want to ask is really generally for uh, all the panelists. Uh, because y'all all can share, uh, you know, some, some input on this question. So I want to know how has social media been a gift and a curse uh, to whatever the agenda may be, whether it's music, how has it been a gift and a curse to artists, you know, for y'all, and then uh, I want to, you know, for you, Lord Merkel, how has it been a gift and a curse as an educator with the distraction from the youth, but, you know, for y'all brothers, what's the gift and the curse for social media? We'll go around the room and let y'all answer. Start with Shanika. Um, I guess it's okay. I mean, like, it's a benefit. You get followers. You get the word out, congratulations. But then I think that the artist turns the benefit into a curse themselves mm -hmm. because you go ahead and like, all right, I'm gonna give you a perfect example. Like I have an artist inboxing me, but they keep spamming. Like listen to this, listen to this, listen to this. And it gets to the point where hell, I don't even wanna listen to it anymore. So they kind of burn themselves and you could potentially help them, but they didn't know that one right. message was enough, or two. Number two, I can have an artist inbox me. Yo, yo, mom, check my shit out. Let me give me feedback. Okay, I give you the feedback. I think it sucks. <laughs> and like, oh, fuck you. I don't care what you think. Like, if you don't care what I think, why the hell are you asking for feedback? That don't make no sense. Exactly. So... Like I said, I think it's more of a curse than it is a benefit. Mm, interesting. Me, I think um, it's definitely a curse because because like everybody want to be famous nowadays. You know what I'm saying? And like, what's the easiest way for them to get famous in their mind? Do some dumb shit or do some, some dumb, do some dumb shit or start some Twitter beef or dumb like. Motherfuckers don't even know, like, you going on, you going online with guns and drugs and all that dumb shit. They watching everything, so you, you snitching on yourself. That's what I You know what I'm saying? So why even do it? Plus on top of that, like, like niggas get, they get followers and, like you said, you get 10,000 followers, you do a show and two people show up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they got, they got companies that you pay to, like, give you fake followers. Like why even why even do it? You know what I'm saying? Like, and a lot of these a lot of these artists become so like um so like right. reachable right now. Like, like anybody can talk to you right now, and you know you're not realizing like you putting you putting too much out there. You know what I'm saying? Like some of them like you might you like this is an old saying like never never meet your um your hero. You know what I'm saying? Because you you might look up some of these people might look up to some of these artists, right? And then you meet them and like this nigga's an asshole, like, get out of here. Like they they, they won't sign an autograph, they won't, you know what I'm saying? So you see you get to see so much of a person sometimes, too much of a person, where right. it's like And y'all the video they was in the the, 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 the six hundred and then when you seen them, they was on their way to the train. You know, <laughs> there's no six hundred. It was like, well, you know, you know. So, yeah. so that type of thing too. So yeah. it's, I, I see it both ways. Yeah. So what you think about that, Nico? Is is the social media a gift or a curse to artists these days, or can it be both? 
it's, it's on how you use it. Anything is, is what you apply and how you apply it and what you do with it. You know, it's, um, it's up to the individual to project that image and build that foundation. Uh, you could, you could, um, there's a lot of good things that the internet have done for some sort of certain people, you know what I'm saying? Build forums and connect it. See, like, remember MySpace turned into nothing but two million people with music, with videos, their own stuff, and, and it was like, you know what I'm saying, it started off as a social thing and then it went straight to just arts, arts, wow. that's it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. See, Facebook is more, you know what I'm saying, you have a network of your people, you know what I'm saying, that you can deal with, and build friends, you know, and, and it's more of a, and that's not for music, you know what I'm saying? You could, like, I've, I've tried to promote things on Facebook and all that, and I'll say something simple in some words and get 300 hits, but as soon as I put a, a song up or a video, nobody nobody checks it, pays attention to it or nothing, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, there's different mediums for things, so we gotta, you know, you gotta build the right, the right, you gotta build it, build it up, and, and use certain people and add things, and have people like you or whatever. You know what I'm saying? We gotta come together. Like like this form right here is great. You know what I'm saying? It's a great form. If, even with the 20 people that's in it, you know what I'm saying? Like we uh, even like a like digital house show. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like he has some of the best DJs, the best artists. You know what I'm saying? This show should be across the nation. Right, we on it. That's you know what I'm saying. Record. So record. it's like it's what it's going to take. It's going to take us to come together and really network, you know, and build that form. So it could be it could be a curse if we let it be a curse, and if we sit there and complain about it, else we got to build it and make it great. You know what I'm saying? Same question for you, Bridget. Are we going to keep it going? I can definitely ID with what everyone has said up here. You know, I can agree with you. I can agree with you. I can agree with you. I personally feel that. Um, it's definitely not a curse, you know. But like Dingo said, it all depends on how you use it. You know, I use social media for networking, um, to keep up with family. I don't use it for really any personal gain. I'm not trying to knock down somebody's wall, trying, trying to get where they are. I'm trying to help the actual artists out. In fact, if it wasn't for social media, I wouldn't have met Granddaddy Are you. True story. Facts. True story. No question. <laughs> you know? And the bottom line is it all depends on how you use it. And I definitely agree with, with you because I, I, I get a lot of music from a lot of people wanting to be aired on the radio show. And that's your wife. Yes. And it's... <laughs> Straight garbage. And it's not even our format. Alright, it's trap music, and it's like, dude, apparently you don't listen to the show. The fuck is wrong with you? You know, but I don't say that to them. I give them their respect. You know, I, I don't want to disrespect anybody. You know. But that's how you feel. But that's how I feel. When you open the email and the beat sound like the log sprinkler. <laughs> <No>. Worse. <laughs> Worse. Like now, you gotta turn that shit off. You know. So, it could be beneficial, it could be a curse, it all depends on how you use it, and I'm, I'm pretty much saying what Dinko said, but I can agree with what everybody up here on the panel has said, too. There it is. Same thing for you, Lord. Um, I've, seen, I've seen social media be a gift and a curse to myself and people who have interacted with me. You know, as I'm thinking about, you know, what y'all saying, I'm just thinking in my mind. You know, I almost forgot the question because in my mind, I was like, I went into my own. And I remember one time, man, I had to go, man, find out who people mutual friends was, man. Find out, yo, man, where, where this dude live, B? Like, why? Right. You know what I'm saying? It was like, at his door, B. Word, like, like a song. <laughs> like, word. <laughs> that could happen to me. You think, like, what is social media really about? If you don't know what media is about and you don't know how to be social, I'm saying like, yo, as Asiatics, <laughs> me as original people, like we have been totally disenfranchised from like common sense. So we don't, we're not really social because we don't know how to be social and we don't have our own media, which is why we on Zuckerberg's journal. Who probably, uh, Red Steen's cousin or whatever, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. <laughs> so like they related somewhere. So I think. They both got you last name. 
It's just like it's just like Ox. It's just like Ox. You on one twelve? You like yo? To Ox disrespecting me, yo? Ox, you know what I'm saying I'm going to like in fifteen, and then like three weeks later, you see like Ox from twelve on fifteen. You're like, I get me out. Oh, and then you see the resemblance. You're like, oh, I said Ox, and it still went to his cousin. So the money still went to the same family. They don't like you. And so that's the same thing, you know, with social media. We on people's stuff that don't like us, don't care about us, and we get into a lot of stuff. Right. I done had people, uh, you know, people in the RBG, you know, people who been rappers, gods, homies, moors, so-called, whatever, all type of people get at me. I done had people attack me saying, yo, why are you going out there teaching nationality? I'm like, because our people like freedom, justice, and equality. Because they don't know who they are. Because they don't know how to organize themselves. They don't know what galvanizing is. They don't have an educational system. They don't know anything about institutionalization. And they think that institution is scary. They don't know anything about incorporation, corporation, or business. They don't know about finance. They don't know about social uh, skills. They don't have any economics training. They don't know anything about politics. Can I add on to that? I want to add on to that. One thing I say, like I said a while ago, there's a lot of the social media things of people are making opinions facts. Yeah. <laughs> wow, right? There's a lot of factual opinions on, on these social media things where people think, you know, they, they word is law and there's nobody to be administrative and, and, and right. show the true teachers and select the true teachers and the educators, you know what I'm saying? And people who are qualified to be able to, to control those medias. Okay. So I have, an interesting, exactly. I have an interesting take on social media, right? I use it. But the two concepts, right, based on the words, the, the concepts for me are a little odd. Because you take social, which is a Roman idea, and then you take media, which is really what you call a Persian idea. I suggest everybody look up who the Medes are and, and what they do and what they represent. And, you know, in the past, who these people are, because you're looking at the word media. And this is something, too, that's important. A lot of the times we saying things, but we only connecting with how we feel about what we say. So I'll give you an example. You can say to your girl, I love you. And she can say to you, what do you mean? And you're like, well, there's more than one definition. <laughs> well, it love means this to me and it means this to you. And so that is a communication yeah, issue. Then yeah. this, this is when the more goes, well, this is what I mean. You pull out that and then you pull out, box first. So, this is what I mean, baby. So, so, so what I'm saying is, is at the end of the day, when you look at these terms, social media, what you're going to find out is that social refers to a Roman organization of doing things, a Roman or Western European ideological way of doing things. So at this point, too, I want to also add, we got the brother Andalus over there doing artwork, Andalus the artist. Uh, so, you know, you see what he's doing over there. Definitely make sure you get at him and check out his work. Um, he's also going to rock and join or something real tight like they're doing right now. We're gonna wrap up. We got like two more questions and then we're gonna close and get into the music real quick. Yeah, I got you, bro. We I got you. You're on point. So uh this is this is what I want to deal with. And again, this this question is generally for all the panelists, and this is gonna kind of hold in the discussion uh for the podcast when we edit. Um, and that's something else too I didn't really get to explain and think on I knew. Well maybe I did. We're gonna be rebroadcasting this. Um, you know, we talked to Shamika, we're gonna go all the you know the website, we're gonna do everything when we edit. So this is this is for the listeners not only here, but for the people, you know, when we go to re-promote this and put this on our blogs and video channels and et cetera. So, you know, we we're gonna we're gonna keep that moving. If you you gonna put this on too, right, Al? So we're gonna be on ninety point one as well. Um, what I wanna make sure of the last question, or last two questions that I want to go with. Um, how does everybody feel, or what do you guys think about, should people be paying attention? Like, like should TV be taken out of the house? Because I have a problem with television, me personally. Like, I have a problem with TV. Uh, real quickly, me and my girl were sitting in the house. We had HBO at the time. Listen to this. Had HBO at the time, 3 o'clock in the afternoon on a Saturday. Should your family be home, yes or no? 3 o'clock in the afternoon on a Saturday. Should your family be home? Should you be 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon we sit home watching TV? On comes, at the end of the movie, on comes a music video on HBO. Anybody older than 30 in this room knows there was never any music video playing on HBO ever. Anybody knows that? So a music video came on. It happened to be Young Money. It was uh, DJ Khaled. And I, I'm noticing that they played the song. It was like, we the best, or one of them with Lil Wayne on it. And then this, this dude 
came on, right? And it was like a rinky dink beat, and it was like, dun, 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 right? And then me and my girl sitting there looking at it, and it was just like a bunch of weird, like, people on top of people. And I was like, yo, that's a weird looking lady. And my girl goes, that's a man. And I'm like, no, that's a lady. Look at the hair. And I start getting closer to the TV, and it was a full blown man, period. Now, this is 3 o'clock in the afternoon on HBO. So I'm like, wait a minute. What's going on here? So immediately following that homosexual video, and for the record, I don't have a problem per se with individual homosexuals. The concept, I have my opinion about. But this video went off, then funny enough, a Young Money video comes on right after the homosexual video, and Rick Ross has his shirt off. The following video, I swear on my life, the following video was a video called Ice Cream Truck. Oh, where it was no. this gay, light-skinned, Hispanic man and a bunch of naked men dancing around to him about eating at the ice cream truck and all this and licking lollipops in the video at 3.30 in the afternoon. No, at this point, everybody gets sent out the room because I was confused about HBO. So I have an aggressive problem with cable TV at this point. So I want to know from y'all. It changes. As you as you become older, as you become more conscious of what y'all pay attention to, has TV been something that you've been more mindful of, um, or do you totally get rid of it, or you think we should re reinvest? Like my question is, do you think we should go into that and try to produce content? Are they gonna let us in? Do you feel like conscious, aware content as a place on television, or we don't got no room for that, and we not gonna be able to do it? What do y'all think? You can start with Lord Merkel. It's on. Uh, the era of television, uh, from what I can see, this, this mathematically speaking, is over. Wow. <laughs> you know, I mean, the 85% are always going to be the 85%. In case you're not familiar, the 85% of the uncivilized people, poison animal eaters, slaves for mental death and power, yeah. people who do not know who the living God is, know the origin in this world, and they worship that which they know not what who are easily led into the wrong direction and hard to lead into the right direction. These are the type of people who watch TV. You know what I'm saying? So they're just not really people in here because we would be watching TV right now if that's what we was. So we have to understand that the people who watch TV, they're not going to be very relevant because even these people are starting to slowly go into social media for their news, for their entertainment, and even for their own promotion. It gets now, you know, I got the Galaxy watch. I could watch the game on my watch. I could watch the game on my watch and then make a rap about watching the game on my watch, and then promote it from my watch. So you can watch me watch the game from my watch, and you watch me watch, and you watch. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You, you can't do that with a TV. I don't care how smart your TV is. You your TV, your Google TV, your iTV, your UTV is what's really, so that's what, you know, for me when I see it, TV's not going over. We shouldn't invest in trying to get into the TV. What we do need to invest in is having our own mediums. Right. right. Mm -hmm. Like this, like Industry Exposed, because we're going to like Channel 21. Exposed. You know, Charlotte, we on Channel 21 in Manhattan. We're going to be on MMN, uh, MMN, Manhattan News Network, MMN. We're going to be there rebroadcasting, so it's real. All, all of that, and all of that is on the TVs that we still, after a while, it gets to the point where we need to think like, okay, can we make our own internet? Maybe not, but we can have our own sites and have our own bandwidth and do certain things of that nature. Whereas we can have our own Vivos, our own YouTubes, our own, uh, you know, uh, Venmos, and we don't have to go to. Look, at the end of the day, and just come out and say it. Look, man, as long as you're eating out of the Europeans' hands, that you're gonna continue to eat those crumbs. Don't sit there and wait for a mystery God to bring you food after you've been left hungry, naked, out of home. Like, you need to go into yourself, invest in yourself, mm -hmm. be yourself, accept your own, be yourself, do for self. And if we continue to make investments in the TV, even MNN and all these other, after 10, 15 years from now, my children are not going to be watching TV. They're going to be like this. Mm -hmm. Yo, I just, yo, dad, I just watched you ask so and so's nationality. You <laughs> <laughs> know what I'm saying? Please. Hey, Grace. Good point, because that's happening now. Like, I have a 15 year old son, and most of his friends, they don't watch TV. They go straight to the video, straight to the website, they, they get what they want. They already hear from their friends or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, they use that. Nobody really liked TV. I was watching their shows, they show the same show, like, what was it the other night? Like, MTV Awards or something. 
It was on like six, eight channels <laughs> at one time. Yeah. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And then I watched then I watched something else, it was on the same six five five channels at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So these corporations, I mean, like I said, they conglomerated this thing, man. And pretty soon TV is just gonna be one one channel. One channel. It's, <laughs> it's just gonna be zero. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just gonna be that one channel. channel and you gonna, and you ain't gonna have no influence, no rights, they not gonna let you you know, because most of the independent shows, like look, like under TV and video music box, you got to be on at 12, 3 at the worst hours. You're not getting no main, unless you got money or business behind your your, your show, you're not going to get the, the prime times. You're not going to get the good times or the good, green television. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's that TV is, is, I mean, like I said, you can use it, but it's going to take a great inventor. Like, you know, we got to get inventive. We got to, we have to invent, we have to take our inventors and bring them together and create the things that we want to be great. You know what I'm saying? There it is. Once again, back to what I was discussing earlier, you know, the big six control 70% of what you watch on television. Mm -hmm. All right? True story. But personally, I'm gonna keep a television in my house. I'm definitely gonna keep a TV in my house because it's entertaining. Whether I choose to watch a channel that has something that I don't wanna watch, that's up to me. That's just like if, if I'm listening to the radio and I hear something I don't like, I'm going to turn the dial. That's my choice. I can do that. Um, but, you know, true story. You are being programmed in what you watch. Yeah. Facts. In what you hear. Facts. And in what you read. And what you eat. Facts. Exactly. That's no all. doubt about it. You're That's being programmed. That's a whole other segment, bro. And... <laughs> Or, uh, the, the bottom line is, you know, you have a choice. It's up to you, you know. And getting getting back to um, the basics, you just have to make your own choice, your own decision. You know, there's nudity on television. There's there's gay and lesbian, or or should I say LGBT? Yeah. You know, everything is starting Home to come news. out. You know, you, and there's really no good news on television. Everything is bad. You're being